So Michael just uh, told you guys about this pantry and how the doors close. Well, every single thing minus the folder for the RV is down here. So as he was putting the slides out, we I I didn't look. He didn't look. Whatever. Um, guess what? This door won't close. It was wide open, but it didn't affect this the slide. However, if this was open, it could have been a problem. But he also has some movement underneath. He has some stuff underneath the seat. Once this comes open, sometimes there's boxes that he has back here that get in the way of the drawer. So he'll have to fix that. But other than that, everything was good. But that's the very first time that everything came off the top shelf. But I'll tell you that he was driving some really bouncy roads. I mean, literally, there. This is <laughs> this is everything from up there. Have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Good morning, YouTube. We showed you the site here briefly. I don't remember how much did we walk around the site. Do you know? Not yeah, not much. And the reason is is because we're moving sites. So I'm gonna talk about that because you can see we kind of got some stuff in the way and you can see our trays are back up and we're kind of cleared out and that's because we're going to move and I want to talk to you about that because I think it's a little on the dumb side all right the sites that are down here um, these are buddy sites I guess you could say the the worst part about them is this is like a common area for example that's their uh, picnic table and we don't have a picnic table and our area is their area as far as shared now that's all fine and dandy for a night but this isn't something I want to do for a couple weeks or like in our case we could stay we could be located at this place at this site um, up to four weeks in the off season, you know, for a month. And it's just not the most ideal situation for us. So what you have to do, and again, this is, this is where I think it becomes the dumb thing. You are able to move sites once, once. The day after your check-in so let's say the best premium site in the world becomes available three days from now you have to go to the office and ask them if it's okay to move sites you can only move a site between 8 and 10 o'clock the day after your check-in this is in their rules but I know that there's exceptions to that. This site seems kind of cool. Um, you don't have any yard or anything, but it does seem kind of cool just where it is. It's kind of a motorhome site if you pull forward or something. All right, so the story is this. We're in a unique situation because we have a car. So what I suggest you do is what we're gonna do and you can check with the office to see if it's okay. We're going to carry around one of our tags that's for the assignment of the vehicle. And we're going to put it on a post of a site that might be open and free. And that's going to allow us to check in at a different site. So for the time being... Um, we had our scooters last night out, that's what's underneath the cover here, and we were riding them around at night in the dark, <laughs> looking at sites to see if anybody was prepared to leave the next morning. I don't think that we're going to find a site that just jumps out at us right away. And here's the funny part. 
not everybody gets up early in the morning and leaves right away. So if a site becomes available, um, you have to move between 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning, but checkout is 11. So not everybody's going to be checked out. See, this is where the, the, the contradiction comes into play. So there's a chance that, let's say, 30 sites open up today. I'm just making up a number, but there are over a 1,000 sites here. So let's say 30 sites open up today, and they all leave their site at 1045. All of them. They all pull out at the same time at 1045. I know it's a crazy scenario, but I'm just go with it. I, by the rules, am already supposed to have picked a new site by 10 a.m. So you can see where that becomes a weird issue, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to drive around with the car. If we find a site that opens up, we are going to park the car in that site and we're going to put one of our car tags, our car passes, our gate card whatever with our name and our date on it uh, on the post now nobody does that I mean you can see all these posts there's nothing on any of the post but that's what we're gonna do to kinda show that sites taken and then we will um, yeah we'll take off actually we'll probably just put the the number up in the window of our car since our car will be there and then we'll just walk back here and uh, put the RV away, uh, pack it up, and take off. Had to charge the scooters. We haven't charged these scooters in whew, six months. No. Five months for sure. So we got our site this morning after driving around in circles. Literally driving around in circles. Ten Less than 10 miles an hour. Looks like these guys are doing some projects. Um, yeah, they're, we're in the new site, or newer site. We've got some water near us, which is kind of cool. But they're, I mean, this is, they really take care of this park, which is nice. Other than, the, you know, like I'm sure Michael said prior to this clip, clip that it's kind of a, crap shoot to get a site I'm just driving around here to uh, give him a minute to back in the beautiful day today which is nice Backed in. I'll pick it up here in a little bit. So this is our site for the next couple weeks. Um, I think we scored a good one. I don't think Michael uh, plugged in the electric yet, but I guess it don't. I mean, it does matter, but or maybe he has plugged it in. He's, he's hooking the sewer up right now. But we have room for the car and the truck. I mean, we did have to back all the way back here, but we were able to uh, make it to where the slide on the other side won't be an issue. Our scooters are like this because, you know, we came from that other site. But, um, yeah, we backed up far enough that the slide will clear the water and we got some ants here hopefully they won't be uh, those are some massive piles of ants hopefully those won't be an issue what do you think so far honey uh, it's a good site we think it's a good site it's out of sight yeah I don't like the oh I don't know if I turned around to show, to show the we do we do have some lake view So, 
you can sit out here and watch the birds and I don't know what kind of birds those are. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's our view for a couple weeks. It's a pretty good view if I think so anyway. So we'll we'll pick it up uh Hopefully the internet's good here. If not, what we'll to put our pull up? Always worried about us scoring a site. <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned it, <laughs> sarcastically said. But every time we go to hook up, I'm telling you, this is the best way to do it by far. This whole technology thing we did a video on it the links are in the description every single time the hookup is flawless it is so easy and so simple so if you guys are looking to uh, find a new way potentially to hook up look at this how hard is it all it is just to do that connection after i flush it well get it away from the sewer no it's it's not close enough to the sewer Heidi says she'll hook up the sewer. <laughs> so he's being a jackass. Yeah. So <laughs> Typical jack style. <laughs> Too bad you can't put that on YouTube. I can't until you said the F word. Heidi's <laughs> dropping F bombs. I'm in here editing. I'll be editing. I'm the F bomb editing. queen. The weather's really nice. Oh, it's, this is great. Everything about this is great. Yeah. And the funny part is, is we're in the old new section. Yeah, I think that's, I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, there's even a new, yeah. new section. But it, right. And it, it, for some reason, the new section um, actually got fancy RVs in it. <laughs> I think they came up with a new category for that. Super like, elite. Just take these pads and they can double, maybe triple the size. And that's the new section. They're ibises or whatever. Look at them all. You can definitely tell that um, they're lacking some rain because that water's been up before. Look, looks like maybe there's a dock over there, but I'm, I'm not real sure. Well, I remember the last time we were in Orlando, uh, we were up quite a ways uh, towards the front, towards the guard gate. And I believe, yeah, this is before they added on. I mean, it, there was a new section that we, we used. And go back and check out that video if you guys have been not following us that long. But when we were up here with our travel trailer, I think it was the first year we were on the road, uh, we were in what they called the new section back then and it had only been open just about two months when we stayed here maybe three months at the most during our time that we stayed here I remember there was a bunch of construction going off in the distance not that far from where we were well guess what they were adding even more sites so now there's a new new section compared to uh, where we're at anyways I remember the last time we were up here the internet wasn't the best uh, for AT&T um, and I think we're running into that same category again or same problem again so this is the first time in a long time and I do mean a long time that I actually had to put up the WeBoost antenna now RT Mobile um, it's fine it's 290 down and I don't know how many up uh, but the modem you know the, the EasyCom modem that I always talk about that 95 I you know what I should be saying 98 percent of the time I just throw it up in the window like you see here and uh, you know plug it in the problem is is it, it wasn't picking up quite enough signal I had enough that I could stream movies and I could operate some of our cameras that are you know we have some security cameras that are on that we leave out um, but uh, it would have been a little questionable as far as sometimes not um, connecting, um, you know, maybe buffering. So we had to put up the antenna. Uh, let me give you a plus, though. 
last night we didn't hook up anything, uh, you know, to the internet. And I uh, just turned the antenna on for the TV. Man, there's a ton of digital TV channels here. I think there was something like 40 or 50 digital. And that's without any kind of a cable hookup. The uh, water pressure is pretty good here. Of course, the water is clean and good. We, we've never had a problem with the water. Um, let me think. But yeah, the internet. T-Mobile's uh, yeah, T-Mobile's great, but um, AT&T a little bit slower. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing a uh, speed band lock test. Basically, I have this thing run all the tests on all the bands available and it locks in the three strongest and then that's what I'll operate off of but what I mainly turn the camera on for more than anything else is look at my view when I'm working <laughs> is this awesome or what yeah it's a it's a nice site and we were we were lucky I mean what you need to do and I'll talk about that real quick so anything that I talk about look at my messy hair uh, really that quick so Here's what I suggest that you do. Um, and it's going to be hard. We, we could have never done this. We could have never done this if we didn't have our car. Because there's no way to really save a site. And that's what you're doing. You're, you know, people, we're, we're allowed to move between 8 and 10 we were going to try to find a spot all the way up until 11 when they opened the gates for everybody that's supposed to be checking in today for them to check in um, but we started at 750 and we started going through all these sites looking to see if there was any early birders because we're early birds sometimes to where we leave early we just going to see if there's any sites that opened up anybody that left and we didn't see any and and please if you're at this campground make sure you put your sign that has the date on it in the windshield of your car clearly visible from the road or from a window inside your RV that's clearly visible we drove through and we were circling on the map uh, sites that had today's date is that when they were going to leave and then what we were going to do is, and we did, we trolled till we saw, you know, people that were milling around getting their stuff together. Unfortunately, it didn't look like any of them were moving real fast. Now, it just so happened that when we went and took a, a look at this loop that's on the other side of this lake, um, and it's all one-way road, so we were kind of stuck on the one-way road the way we were coming. Uh, we had to go back out on the main road. We came back into the entrance to this area. And when we did, there was a guy in a uh, Super C that was coming out. And I thought, what's the chances that he's going through looking for sites himself? Because he could have been somewhere else in the campground, like us, and now he's looking for a site to pull into. Because when he pulled out he made a right to go back into the park further and I told Heidi he said you know what maybe he maybe he had to go to the office or something I, I'm not sure but let's go back to that area that he just came out of and sure enough we came around and there was two sites open back here this one here one across the street so obviously because this one is up against the woods uh, and there's a water feature here um, pretty good view I thought, well, we're definitely going to do this one. So we went ahead and backed the car in, put the date thing up in the windshield of the car so they could see that we're here. And then we took the scooters out of the back of the car, and we already had our card filled out. We went ahead and just put in the, the road and the site, and we took our scooters and we rode them up to, first of all, the office where you used to do your check-ins at. At least two years ago, you, that's where you did your check-ins. And Heidi came back right out immediately and said, they don't do check-ins in here anymore. you got to go to the rec center outside the gate. So we took our scooters, ran up to the, out, you know, the rec center, and dropped off our paperwork, and that was it. Now, I'm telling you what we did. Was that the way you're supposed to do it? I don't know. I don't know if we did something that was wrong. 
I don't see where it's wrong. I mean, if I'm putting something to save the site until I can get my RV over here, um, why? I, I don't like the fact that they're perpetuating that people drive around with their RVs looking for sites. I mean, that's the last thing you want to do is have, you know, five fifth wheels just driving up and down rows waiting for somebody to pull out. So I, the, the whole idea that I parked the car here was kind of to perpetuate the idea of not bigging, taking big heavy rigs through the park and uh, driving around looking for a spot. Instead, taking a small vehicle, finding a spot, and just you know saving it. Um, so that's my, my two cents on that. But again, look at the view. So what'd you think about staying here last night? That's quiet. Ooh, look at your hair blow around. We got a breeze coming through. We have some storms that are coming through. Um, it's going to oh, be. It rained a lot. Last it did night. rain a lot. I don't know if you could tell the ground's still wet. I mean, it was no big deal. Yeah. We yeah. Stayed dry inside. Yeah, of course. But it just rained hard. We haven't seen. We haven't had rain like that for a long time. We haven't. The um, campground is pretty quiet back here. Uh, there's not a lot of kids in this area, which is good for us. We're we're just not kid people. Obviously, you know, our we're kids are We're not traveling with people, or we're not traveling with kids, so there's no reason for us to be around kids. Yeah, if you have kids, <laughs> that's all another story. Hey, set up a little campground back here for them. Um, but yeah, the park, there's places in the park that, obviously, I, I wouldn't want my kids, to, even if we did have kids, I want to bring them to this section. I'd bring them down to the pool and yeah, the chess sets um, and the rec center and all that. would want to be near the... the yeah, it's off um, in that direction. In the pool. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be here. There's not a lot. This is kind of the, the yeah, old fart section. Um, again, if you guys see, this is what I've been talking about numerous times. Very rarely do we have to put up this mast, this antenna mast. But we are uh, running off of AT&T. Our T-Mobile's through the roof here. It's like uh, 200 and something down, but our a and t which we do a lot of streaming in that. Um, I could have streamed movies, but as far as uploading videos, it wouldn't work so well without this antenna. So we've got that going on. And take that down? Aren't yeah, you? maybe. Or down a little anyway. Yeah, yeah. 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. We do have some winds that are in the forecast in a couple days. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going on there. But it's a great sight, a great view. Uh, I wish the water would have been up all the way. You could see where it normally is there. But yeah, we're uh, we're trying to enjoy ourselves, and just thought we'd check in with you before we started our day here and uh, see what we can get into.
excited to walk around the lake that is close to our RV. And look, I didn't realize how thick the woods was out this way. I don't know how much is coming out of camera, but it is pretty thick. I mean, it's real thick. It's a jungle. There is a path over here, though. Looks like a golf cart thing. Could be riding golf cart. And the water's really low. But it looks different from here, don't it? Doesn't it look kind of funny from here? Make sure I ain't standing in fire ants. Don't even look like the same park. You can see the RV over there. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's just a really nice day. What do you think temperature is today, Hyde? 80. 80? I think tomorrow's high is supposed to be like, well, two days. The high is, I think, only going to be in the 60s. Oh, yeah, check this out. I wonder where that goes. We should kind of got the bikes and ridden back there, huh? There's a trail this way, too. I'm sure this one just cuts over to that loop. But I don't know where that one would go. Do you think that goes all the way down to the other one? Look, it's all swamp land back there. Ooh, gator country. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I don't see any gator tracks or anything like that, though. So, with that said, I think we'll go swimming. You want to jump in the lake, honey? <laughs> yeah, that one just goes to that loop over there. I got a lot of property here. Look at the house. We got a lot of ants here. They could make a lot more sites. Imagine if they added sites all the way around this. They could just put those bands around here. They don't need any power. They should make tent sites. Great idea. To pop a tent in Florida. Yeah. Well, you think that's a problem? I would never do it. Somebody else can, but I'm not. No, you're not an ant. That's all I care about. No, if you pop a tent in Florida. Ah, <sighs> so this is uh. Much more quiet than what we're used to. We heard sirens. How many times? Twice, I think. We're not hearing very many airplanes, right? Yeah. So our stay's pretty good here. Now today, as far as the events that they had, what did they have? Kids something. Crafts. Crafts. Kids crafts. And Hottie won't let me go. <laughs> I think bingo's tomorrow. Oh, no. Well, Super Bowl. Super Bowl's coming up. I don't know when you guys are watching this. What's that? Meat bingo. I still don't know what that is. You're going to win. It's like candy. You'd win candy. You're going to win meat. Like fresh hamburger. Steaks. Nice. Maybe some pork chops. Nice. I don't know what they have over there, but they had pictures of steak and hamburgers. Nice. So it's Sunday. And we had probably already seen uh, five units. And you're to only come in at noon. Well, guess what? It is 1230. And this is what it looks like on Sunday. People trying to check in. It's funny because is there even that many spots available? <laughs> there must be. Uh, uh, there must be. So, I've always said that they should use this road to stage all the units that want to come in. And I thought that there's no way that they would fill this whole road. I'm wrong. So, the idea is that I think that they should create another lane. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Um, another lane that is equal to length on this lane. And that way everybody could stage off the highway because this is much more than what I would have expected, tell you the truth. 
So if you're actually have already checked in here, you want to make sure you stay away from here around up. Noon. Exiting is fine, but uh, coming back, coming back, you you're gonna have to wait because they only have one gate open. I mean, there are cars out here on 27. I am amazed how many units are checking in here. You know, this this place does have a thousand sites. Yeah. But yeah, and it is Sunday, so a lot of people uh, start. Yeah. Their stuff on Sunday. Good luck. Yeah. yeah, they're they're all the way out on 27. Not too, they got. Looks like they got most of them in. Uh, yeah. So. Turn right on US. Yeah, they got them out here trying to make a left too. Man, oh man, I'm gonna tell you, this is uh, much more than I expected. Okay, we got to get going here. Here in Florida. Trying to get you updated, keep you updated on what's happening. Uh, we've shot some video for something else that's a future project, which you'll eventually get to see. I don't know when. We don't know when. I would put Heidi in the camera, but she told me she's dressed inappropriately. Actually, she's in her night clothes, and uh, as much as some people may want to see that, I can't necessarily be doing that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not appropriate on my part. So uh, she's making... Valentine's Day spaghetti. She's making all kinds of stuff. I don't know what she's doing. She's just got a bunch of stuff going on over there. So I'm sitting here getting ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Edit video. There's something I should talk about. Man, pollen count is pretty high here. Not as high as it was in Kissimmee. Kissimmee was much higher than here, but man, my nose is pretty livid. I've got all kinds of sprays going on just so I could uh, breathe normally. Night before last, Heidi and I went for Valentine's Day. We went to a local hotel. They have a jacuzzi suite, and we had dinner out at Fazoli's. And um, and basically, when I say dinner out, it means we did takeout. But we had a we had a good time. Um, and then we came back and decided to do a bike ride, and we we ran into. Uh, John and Linda, um, I always get their last name, Salazzo. John and Linda Salazzo from, they're Staten Island, right? Yeah. I always get that mixed up too. I think it's Long Island. So anyways, um, yeah, we had a good chat with them. Um, it was kind of chilly yesterday, and it was kind of cool on our way back. We, we Again, we rode the bikes. Uh, I don't know how much you saw of that. Man, this park it packs up so heavy it's amazing how many people line up to come in here but I decided I gotta sit down and edit some video which uh, maybe you'll be seeing this clip at this point but yeah that's uh, that's basically what we've been doing but we've got a lot of behind the scenes stuff that's going on again for a future project thing that is kinda happening uh, so look forward to that at some point you'll know when that video comes out believe me um, but yeah, this is uh, this has been a really nice stay here, and we have how many days left? We have a week. Okay, we, we have a week Monday. here. Today's Tuesday. Now, the thing is, is we have reservations, and again, I don't know if we, I'm sure we've talked about it. I don't know how well you guys picked up on that. This thousand trail system works great, but you have to make your reservations, and of course, you need to use your reservations. Our problem is, is we had reservations all booked out for quite some time. And then we had some changes we needed to make. And Heidi uh, had an, a follow-up appointment, stuff like that. And we had places that we wanted to go that required us to cancel our reservations and rebook our reservations in other places. So as it stands right now, we're leaving here, like she said, in a week's time. And we're going to another park that is, uh, you think it's 10 miles? If, no. You think it could, I don't, I don't think it's 10 miles. It's got to be, 5.2 miles? yeah, maybe five miles from here, um, which is like magic. And we're only there for a very short time. And the only reason we're there 
is so we have a place for the RV and uh, we can then go to Heidi's appointment. We'll hop in the car and we'll go to Heidi's appointment. And then we're leaving and going to Clearbrook and after like four days we have to move. So instead of us hooking, unhooking, hooking, unhooking, whatever, and maybe I don't have to necessarily, but none, nonetheless, there's still a lot of moving and jockeying around. That's it's really the, the worst part about the RVing stuff is not so much when you're on the road and traveling. It's, you know, the negotiating in the park and into your site and setting up and then breaking down to get back on the road again. So there's a lot of that going on. So what we're trying to do is potentially negate those reservations and just pay for a place for like a week because uh, that that would that would make it to where we leave here go to another location set up stay for a whole week not moving or anything and then break down and then go to Clearbrook and set up and then we're there for two weeks that sounds much more appealing so a couple days later from that last update and I want to talk to you about something that uh, I've experienced and it, Heidi kind of has also from sitting in the passenger seat we you know we're thinking about whenever we're getting ready to leave here and hooking up our trailer and, and taking off and you know I don't think that there's anything that I dread about towing a fifth wheel it, I mean it feels okay um, I learned how to tow uh, whenever I was 19 in the streets of Germany uh, I had a five-ton wrecker uh, which is a very big truck and I was towing a big generator behind me and I was going through those little tiny German streets and I'm telling you it was, it was there was some panic there as a 19 year old kid because if I hit anything they talked about how much damage and how much it would cost the government and I you know I didn't want any of that obviously um, and then whenever I wasn't using the wrecker um, I had a deuce and a half that didn't even have power steering so you, you know it's anyways I'm, I'm used to towing under duress I guess you could say so the uh, idea behind towing the fifth wheel this is the first time I towed a fifth wheel and I remember and you could see that in our video when we went and picked this up I wasn't impressed with the way it felt going down the road I didn't go oh this is so delightful I can't believe I've ever towed a trailer before the fifth wheel is the way to go I'm never going back now um, I'll have to say that towing something this heavy and this tall um, is a fifth wheel setup for sure you know I, I can't imagine doing a travel trailer this tall and this heavy but you know if you're if you're thinking to go in with a travel trailer and and you're scared and you're thinking well I should tow with a, a fifth wheel uh, you know get a fifth wheel instead because everybody says it's much better don't don't believe it most of the time those people are are going from a travel trailer uh, with a truck that may not be big enough and they don't even have a really good hitch setup or they've misloaded it or whatever I'm gonna tell you that if you're towing with a fifth wheel you can misload a fifth wheel a lot more and it doesn't affect the truck near as much it makes a huge difference how you load a travel trailer and how much weight is back there and where it is back there uh, that's the first thing so you know I could take everything that I have in this trailer right now and put it you know all of our clothes everything and I could put it in the back of the trailer and I could go down the road and it wouldn't handle very well and I wouldn't like it but it would tow down the road and I could be safe still you can't do that with a travel trailer you can't take and load up everything in the front to the back and expect it to go down the road at all safely you will be all over the road I don't care what kind of truck you have so um, loading is a big deal and then of course the weight of things um, but here's what happens a lot of those people they have let's say uh, a $900 hitch that they bought and they think oh I paid $900 for it it's got to be great um, it's the best out there I don't want to spend any more and then they get uh, a truck that's an F-150 because they're pulling a travel trailer it's only 8,000 pounds then they maybe misload it and then they go down the road and they're like this thing's all over the road the winds blowing me all over the place whatever even if they load it correctly then they say you know what I'm gonna look at fifth wheels because everybody says that fifth wheels are easier to tow then they go out and buy themselves a three-quarter ton or a one ton truck um, maybe even a dually and then they get a, a trailer that is pretty forgiving 
as far as the way you load it and they put it in the truck and they go oh my god I can't I'll never go back to a trailer again well I'm gonna tell you if you if you set up your trailer correctly if you get a truck that can handle it easily um, and if you spend some money like we did the propride hitch which is expensive that propride hitch w just made a world of difference it, it made it to where we could turn at tighter angles um, the hitching unhitching process for us once the learning curve was over was unbelievable I, I preferred it Heidi actually would would help uh, she never helped with those old snap-up bars or nothing she she didn't want anything to do with it and she shouldn't that's that, those things are dangerous and it takes you know a little oomph to do some of that stuff even using the, the the jack to lift your vehicle to get everything level on just like an equalizer bar to use that that lever or even not to use the lever just to lift it up and put the pin in and everything you're you're doing so much lifting and do weird stuff to where you can actually lift to where your your tires break loose and your parking pin mode of your trailer or I'm sorry your truck and the trailer could move I mean there's so much that could could be done there that it's just unsafe so the fact that we had the pro pride it was like you know quick fast easy we liked it um, and driving down the road was just a, a dream and of course backing in spots um, was easy because you know 87 degree angle that thing did a really good job so uh, I just wanted to let you know that if you're looking and you're debating between maybe a little bit lighter trailer travel trailer that might be in the 30 to 32 foot range something like that and you got an F-250 or even an F-350 and you get a pro pride hitch for it do not fear you will have no issues whatsoever towing that um, just make sure that you don't overload the back of the RV or even the t tongue I mean if anything error in the the, the the way of putting too much tongue weight on your vehicle um, but just don't go over capacities and then as far as a fifth wheel I want to tell you guys that have travel trailers and you've never towed a fifth wheel or you've heard that towing a fifth wheel is great well there's no other way to tow this big of a trailer you know this tall of a trailer so obviously you have to go with it but to make a decision based on the fact that my trailers all over the road and I I can't control it that tells me that you don't have something right and you don't need a brand new RV with a fifth wheel hitch in the bed and a bigger truck to understand what's going on there and make it better you just need to fix your problem that you currently have going on pretty much every truck out there should be able to tow all these trailers that they have as long as they're set up correctly um, so just a word of advice I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this video up for you so I think we're gonna close this out because we're getting ready to leave We'll have Heidi close it out. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye. Bye.